But you didn't think I wouldn't find them, did you? <laughs> I mean, the post takes a couple of days, and apparently a stamp costs seventy-five pounds. <clears throat> Good, because this means by entering it this way, I don't you comply. One seven zero one eight eight four four one. Is this correct? To confirm, press one. To re-enter the number, please press two. I'm yeah. sorry, but we don't recognise the reference number you've entered. Please try again. Oh, okay. So we can help you as quickly as possible. Please enter your reference number, which can be found at the top of any letters we've sent you, followed by hash. If you don't have your reference number, or if you're not the account holder... Oh, uh, that's the one. Called. Sorry, chaps. There's two reference numbers on there. You entered 7, 2, 3, 4, 2, 6. Is this correct? To confirm, press 1. To, to make an automated payment, press 1. Alternatively, <laughs> please hold. Yes, give us your money so we can stuff it in that back. In order to maintain high levels of security on your account, we're going to ask you three questions. Good. Please enter the numerical digits from your house or flat number in the order they appear. For example, if you live at number 12 Springfield Avenue, enter 1 and 2, followed by hash. Okay. Please enter the numerical digits in the order they appear from your postcode. For example, if your postcode is N112LP, enter 112 followed by hash. Please enter your date of birth. For example, for the first this of is June great, 1980, you're not complying by doing this. followed by hash. In order to provide the best possible service, our calls are recorded for training, monitoring, and analytical purposes. So got my data Please hold while we connect you to a dedicated team member. A dedicated team member. I'll probably ask more of the details again anyway. You all know where I live. Can I? It's now, um, it's 20 past 2. Apparently open till four o'clock today. Marston Group Limited is a member of the Civil Enforcement Association, and you're able to visit their website at www.civea.co.uk. Yeah, eight till four on a Saturday, very I'll be all the ones that haven't met their target. Yes, it's Paul Harrison Dacres. Love it. And um, do you have a... We have a mobile contact number on file that ends in 878. Is that the correct one? Uh, yes. Do 
Do you have any other alternative contact numbers? I don't even know the host number, mate. I never use it. Right, that's fine. Okay, so with the reference that you've provided, you brought up a case with Her Majesty's Courts and Tribunal Services of Cambridgeshire for assaulting a constable in the execution of his, his, of his or her duty. The outstanding amount is £755. He's paid it with a debit mm-hmm. or a credit card today. Can I, can I just point out, firstly, actually, what it says on your forum is a warrant of control has been issued by Her Majesty's Courts and Tribunal Service assault a constable in the execution of his stroke, her, and then it's a uh, full stop. It doesn't actually say duty. Uh, no, because it was a completely unlawful court hearing. Firstly, I was initially arrested on March the 24th, and the, the final court case wasn't until November 9th, which is outside of the six-month time limit the CPS have to take you to court. Um, and secondly, also, the CPS wrote to me in a letter which I ha- I'm sending to you this weekend, and I was actually informed a week prior to the court case that it would not be going ahead. Uh, the court then went ahead with it because they're all bent, basically, and they're all corrupt. Right, OK. Um, I'll be honest with you, if that's the case, that's fine, but... No, you see, I've told the court this already, and they've now passed the file to you because the court are all bent and they're all corrupt, and all the judges are bent and they're all corrupt. Uh, the court were more than clearly informed that I was told the court case was not happening and that the court case was out of time. And in fact, they've just passed the file to you for one of your Nazi thug bully boy bailiffs to come round and try and steal all my stuff. Um, you know, the, 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 courts of, uh, the Majesty's Courts and Tribunal Services of Cambridge uh, um, have taken this to court and a liability order has been granted in your name. So we've been instructed to get payment in full from you. But if you've got proof that confirms we shouldn't proceed, then by you can email that into us. I'm, I'm going to send it to you through the post, but I've already um, sent the letter to the court and they've just carried ahead and sent the file to you, so I'm presuming you're going to do the same thing. So, well, to be honest with you, what we can do, well, the two options available are we can set it into an arrangement, and then if for any reason, if your dispute is successful and, and it's confirmed, then the money will be refunded. Alternatively, uh, what, uh, money will be, I'm not paying the money, mate. Okay, alternatively, then, this is the alternative option. We can put the case on hold for 28 days to give you time to send in all the supporting evidence. In regards to that, we will check that back as long as it's within the time scale. If we check it back with the courts and for whatever reason they deem it as incorrect and they confirm that it still needs paid, at that point you will need to pay the balance in full. So it's up to yourself. If you're adamant that this shouldn't be paid and you've got a valid evidence there, then that's fine. But I just, you know, I'm, I want to help you. So, and the bottom line is, if the court says to us after you send us details in that no, it's outstanding, at that point you will have to pay that balance in full. Or else, if not, at that point an enforcement agent would attend. There'd be a £235 additional fee. They'd look for payment in full. If they didn't receive it, they may then look to take control of goods with a minimum of £110 fee apart for storage and option for these. Right, mate. Basically, I'm sending you the proof this weekend, so you best just put it on a 28-day hold. I've already sent the court the proof. The court knew fine well the case was unlawful. It was outside the six-month time limit. The CPS had told me it wasn't going ahead. So if after that you send one of your thug bailiff mates round, mate, he's going to end up in fucking hospital. Do you understand me? Because I'm sick of you fuckers doing exactly what you fucking want, ignoring every fucking law going. Is that fucking clear? I can make a note of the details, but it won't change any proceedings. Right, fine. You've been warned off, mate, because you people will pay no attention to the fucking law whatsoever. You're a bunch of Nazi fuckface vile wankers. So this is the end of the fucking conversation. Sick of them. I'm fucking sick of them. I really... The fuck do they think they fucking are?